Hey guys, if you've been following me for quite some time, you know Drama and I are very well acquainted, unfortunately. I am the peanut butter, Drama's the jelly. I'm the pizza, Drama's the pineapple, you get the point. I'm gonna start making these types of videos anytime I'm involved in any piece of significant drama. I look back and I think it was a huge blunder to not make these types of videos in the past when I was involved in previous dramas with other people. I mean, whether I need to sincerely apologize or whether I need to clarify the situation, I think it's really important. At least my audience hears what I have to say. What I've learned in the past is that if I don't properly address these situations, then it's just going to become an equivocal matter that's going to just stay there and fester like a butt hemorrhoid that just won't go away for years. And I just want to reiterate to you all that I'm not a perfect person. I'm always growing and learning with you guys. We all make mistakes, and I've made my plentiful share of mistakes. At some point, I thought I had a mistake fetish. And I've had my share of toxic and immature moments in the past. I mean, I feel like League as a, as a community and as a game brings out the worst in people, and that's no excuse in any way. I just wanted to acknowledge that, yes, I have been wrong many, many times, and I'm not afraid to admit that. Um, but now as I grow older and today I feel like I strive to be in a non-toxic environment and not spread negativity, which is why this specific drama really deeply saddened me and I'm going to explain why. So this all began yesterday morning when I woke up to see myself getting virtually suplexed by a fellow content creator that goes by the name of LS. And uh, that came along with a lot of mean, nasty, hateful tweets sent my direction. Now, Alas has a predisposition to disliking me because of some drama that happened years ago, and I, I will explain that in the video as well and show you what I mean, and I will apologize for those instances as well. But regardless, uh, I needed to explain myself in this instance and clarify what happened. And I, again, I don't want the purpose of this video to spread more hate or negativity. I just want my supporters to see the truth. So I'm going to start off by showing you the tweet that was kind of the major catalyst in fueling this drama. And it reads out like this. He says, she didn't even say anything bad. You are ill. I imagine he's not referring to me having a cold there. She's saying you're AFK, not paying attention to the game while clearing, and you turn around and call her a whore. You continue to just be one of the most perplexing pieces of shit that ever was birthed from the law community. That was a mouthful. So before I share my thoughts on what he had tweeted there, I think it's proper we do this chronologically and go back to how this began and all of what actually had happened, and then I will share with you my final thoughts on the matter. So this all began from this person's tweet right here, who I've never met before. Her name is Florence, and she mentions in her tweet that this is the first game we ever played together. Uh, she reads out, LOL, he may or may not have called me a whore and flamed me to a stream of 5,000 people for the entire game. First game with Night Blue, but I don't think I'm a fan. So what happened there is we played a game together and I had no idea who this person is. This person's not a streamer. This person just plays solo queue like they're, you know, like everyone else. And they seem to have misconstrued the part of the whore thing, which I will explain. And on top of that, they were very disingenuous when saying that I was flaming them the entire game. And I will show you the VOD. Honestly, the whole point of this video is to just show the truth to my followers and supporters because I've really been striving to be a better person and it really hurts, it really, really hurts, man, when I feel like I didn't even do anything wrong. Uh, well, maybe a little thing and I will explain that. Um, but yeah, I it hurts, man, to see that like I'm trying my best and putting a lot of effort in and I still have the same result, same drama. So one last thing I need to show you before we get into the belly of the beast that is the VOD here is that I replied to this tweet that she was saying I may or may not have called her a whore and, you know, was flaming her all game. I felt the need to respond to this because it's a pretty major allegation to be misogynistic. I've never hinted at any sort of misogyny in my life. So what I had replied to this person was a question mark and some screen caps of, you know, her being toxic the entire game. So completely contrary to what she's saying. And I thought that this was enough evidence to refute what she's saying and show that she's just being disingenuous. Unfortunately, the community already has this, you know, predisposition of disliking me. So this is just food for them, you know. They, they thought like, okay, we'll go with it. So he's trying to defend himself for, he he's, did call this random girl a whore and he's defending himself by showing that she's just criti criticizing his gameplay. And that was the complete opposite of what I intended to do with this tweet. So read out this tweet in chronological order. The first one at 10 minutes is, she says, you're legit not looking at your map while you AFK in your jungle. Please watch replay this game and look at your positioning pings me. Please turn it into content. 
Again, I just want to reiterate, this is not really that bad. This is tame for solo queue. And I just say, okay, Florence, thank you. You're a great player. Thank you for your advice. Obviously, I'm being sarcastic here, but again, pretty tame. And then she says, I'm not saying that, LOL. I'm just saying, watch the replay. When I ask if you're blind, she asked me, was spamping me and asking me if I was blind earlier in the game, which I did not post. And I will always show this in the VOD as well, the context of that situation. And then at the very end of the game, she says, I don't know how Grave Jungle has negative impact with, you know, a little mash on the keyboard there. My intentions with this response was to quickly refute what she was saying in her initial post where she was saying I was flaming her all game because she was sure of that part, but she was not sure about the may or may not have been called a whore part of the situation. And that's why I thought posting screenshots of the game where she was actually flaming me the entire game and instigating and I didn't even respond. And I will show you every single interaction in this VOD that I had with any player in the game. And unfortunately, it was misconstrued by the entire league community that I was actually, I did call her a whore and that I'm defending my position by showing she's critiquing my gameplay. And I understand the community has this predisposition of disliking me from previous dramas and toxicity, but it really does hurt like today when I'm really striving to be better. And I hope you can see that when I show you the VOD of the situation, how I do respond towards the toxicity nowadays versus how I used to respond to it back in the day, like two, three years ago. One more important detail that I have to explain to avoid further scrutiny on this matter and future matters is the way my Twitch VOD system works. So if you've ever watched my stream, you know that I don't publish every VOD. They automatically save unpublish and I have to manually click publish to release the VOD. I've been streaming for the past two or three weeks and I only have a handful of VODs available on the channel. And if you've ever watched, my channel or my my stream you know that i don't publish every vod it's actually rare i publish vods so i just want to clarify i did not delete the vod and i'm not trying to hide anything i've always been doing this where if i'm having a terrible day of league i was like two wins and 10 losses i'll pull up my match history right now to show you guys my score that day and i'm like if i'm feeding every game and playing terrible and someone can't catch the stream why would i release the vod because they're just going to watch terrible feeding gameplay. Same thing on YouTube. I don't post bad and feeding games. I don't do this, do it on Twitch either. You can, if you want to still hold scrutiny towards me, towards me for that, whatever. I mean, I'm just trying to release the best content I can. And that's why very few VODs are available. But honestly, even if the VOD was available, I highly doubt it would change anyone's mind. A lot of these people were making stuff up, throwing mean, nasty tweets at me and saying, oh, this girl was a streamer and then I knew she, who she was. And all of this is false information. Like, honestly, they just have this predisposition of disliking me, and I totally get it. If you want to dislike me, you want to hate my guts, that's totally fine by me. But for those people that want to actually listen and want to actually have an open mind to the conversation, thank you for being here and thank you for listening to this. Let's get right into the VOD, and I will show you every interaction that I had with this player. To be consistent, I'm going to show you every single interaction I had with this owner, whether it be through text or through voice, because she was claiming I was flaming her all game, which is just straight up disingenuous. And you can tell that easily by the way I'm responding verbally and in text to this player and to the mid laner, who was also hurling a lot of insults this game as well. So I'm going to show you everything, and you guys can see for yourselves that this entire post is disingenuous, and this is just a malicious narrative, and I understand why they did it. And, you know, I do apologize for wrongdoings I've done in the past, but it really hurts me today to be so quickly judged and attacked and be called mentally ill, piece of shit, misogynistic, and a hurl of insults this, other, this girl threw at me after the whole post was posted. And I will show that at the end of the video as well, just to show you, like, how disingenuous this entire situation actually was. So the beginning of this game, the is just right. typing in all chat. Good luck, have fun, don't talk to my jungle. I'm just joking about being the best Rengar in the world. I'm the best Rengar in the world, bro. And then after that, say? we have Katarina complaining about my full clear speed being too slow and asks if I'm auto-filled. Uh, she's just kind of instigating here. I just want to show you how I respond to her to kind of show you what I mean by I'm trying to not be toxic. I see Raptors not there though. Yeah, but they'd have to literally look at the Raptors to know. <laughs> Crying Barks is her name checks out. Let's settle this. I mean, I'm doing jungle as fast as I can. There's nothing else I can do. If anything, it's just, uh, I didn't get a really good leash. The next clip here, I die. <laughs> and this is when Katarina is seconds. a little bit more toxicity towards me. Okay, it's really only Katarina at this point. 3.2 seconds. She said, look at you, farming all game, and die, blah, blah, blah. Just basic whatever, just basic toxicity. I say, what have you done all game to her? And at this point, I generally don't know if she's being serious or not, because she's complaining I'm full clearing on graves. I can't tell if he's being sarcastic. 
He's complaining that Graves is full clearing. Is he being sarcastic? Maybe he's being sarcastic. Now, this video is not about the gameplay, and I'm not going to sit here and nitpick the gameplay. This is the only gameplay I am going to show in this video, and I just felt it was very important context to what had happened afterwards. So, the son is level 4, and then Nami's level 5, and Talon's level 8, which is double the Sona's level. And I'm just sitting here farming wolves right now, and this is what had happened. So, she kind of gets caught in between two people here in the river. I'm not sure what she's actually trying to do, because she doesn't have ulti yet. And Talon just walks away, but I get spam pinged like crazy by the Katarina and Sona here and that's when I muted the Katarina because it was just getting too much because she was flaming earlier and then the Sona proceeded to call me blind here which I mean I have pretty tough skin man I don't really care but I just felt like it was important to show you like I felt this was part of the disingenuous uh part of you know what had happened so here's the clip again just to show you my perspective of the situation here just clearing and then start getting spam pinged and at this point Katarina has just done enough for me to mute her by herself Sona really hasn't done much but spam ping here and then she starts she this is where she yeah, says are you mute. blind and I get really confused by her tweet that she said I was flaming Definitely her whole game that so clown. just to kind of give you context I felt that that gameplay part was important Wait, is Sona telling me am I blind? I'm sorry, do you have level 6? Can you ulti the guy? CC him so I kill him? Or do you think he'll just magically stop moving when I'm there? Maybe he'll stop moving for me. I need Sona to level 6. So I can actually play here. Right now, with Fiddle, Fiddle's whereabouts unknown, and Sona not having level 6 at 10 minutes in, we're in trouble. Maybe I'll just sit here, actually. Electrocute? Oh my god, I thought they nerfed that shit, bro. So the Sona here says, I think we should just FF. So I say, yeah, you're not level 6 at 11 minutes in. I'm a little annoyed from the previous uh, interactions with the Katarina and Sona. She called me blind and whatever. But I think everything I'm saying is not toxic. It's tame. I'm just saying, yeah, we might be able to get to 15 minute surrender before you hit 6 here. And this is where the critique of the gameplay begins. And I just want to show you how I respond. These guys are so, so funny, man. They're so funny. Let's settle the My Volibear is half the CS of Jax. My Sona still not level 6. So, yeah, this is a pretty bad game overall. Um, you know, she's critiquing me. I say, okay, Florence, thank you. You're a great player. Sarcastically, obviously. Still... Damn, I was typing. I could have actually done something there, probably. And no, not really. Given the context, this is really tame stuff. I'm uh, not flaming her all game as she's claiming. Wait, he's the wrong Yor. Uh-oh. Any grammar police? Oh, that's cringe. All things considered, this game's going really terribly, and I'm thinking for keeping it cool. All right, our Sona is almost level 6, guys. She's getting there. At this point, Sona is still level 5 at 12 minutes in. It's only 12 minutes in, and she's still level 5. It's okay. It's fine that they're Nami's level 7 and killing me. I, nah, that's literally the worst of it. I don't think I'm flaming her by pointing out she's level 5 at 12 minutes. It's pretty difficult to play with a level 5 Sona, as most people know. Now that this part, she's saying it's fine, we just go next. This is 14 and a half minutes in. That was so much damage, dude. Katarina's not balanced. At this point, I haven't really said anything bad to the Sona besides sarcas sarcasm, which I don't think is bad, especially given how bad this game is going and how negative these teammates have been so far. 
Someone's gonna hostage. Yep. Here I'm trying to FF at 15 minutes because this game is over. It's pretty Every bad. Every time, dude. Every time. I'm just trying to leave, man. I'm just trying to farm some minions, bro. I, I left that in because I just wanted I'm to just show trying you to farm some minions. Around and just keeping it cool throughout the game, even though it's going really terrible. So left that one in when I died to Jax. Now, 17 minutes in, this Sona types, I don't know how Graves is negative impact and matches their keyboard. And I want you to pay attention to the timestamp there. It's about 17 and a half minutes. And I want you to hear what I said verbally in response to this. I have so many different words I could call this Sona. But I feel like it just would be low class. You know what I'm saying? Is there any point in typing to this Sona? I could say so many things, dude. So many. At this point, I point out I could say things to Sona, but I don't want to respond. I'm trying to be better. I'm trying not to be toxic. Even though I've been getting flamed the entire game. I'll smite it. Don't worry. I left this part oh, in to show you. The conversation with Sona did You thought you were getting here. the tower. I'm just talking about Harold and the did tower. You know. I'm here to smite. And here at 1920, this is when I type whore in the chat. And this is where all the confusion started. No one's typed anything for two minutes. The whole conversation with Sona is over by now. I've been getting flamed the entire game by both Sona and Katarina. And now people are assuming that I know this player's gender. I know this player personally, and I'm calling them a whore. I literally just typed the word to hard mute myself, which I've done many times in different games. And I will show clips of those here just so you can see. And it offers more vindication showing you this is not towards a specific player. And the reason I typed this word specifically to mute myself is because I found out about it from another player a few days before. And I'm going to show the clip of that right here. Wait, what? What did he type? Guys, if you type the W word, what's the W word? <laughs> what did he type? <laughs> the Zaya guessed the word correctly, dude. What word is it? Should I type it? All right, I'm muting myself this game. This is rough. Once I'm six, I'll have a fighting chance. Even though it's a little bit long, I'm gonna let the rest of the clip play out here just so you can be sure I'm not verbally talking to anyone. I'm not speaking to my stream badly about anyone on my team. Someone press no. You guys are degenerate. You guys are degenerate. What did, what did Dunky say to get fans? You guys remember what Dunky said to get bans? It was at this time that I called this male fight a fucking worthless, brain dead, scum fuck. Clown. Thought he could beat me. An enemy has been slain. Your turret has been destroyed. Your turret has been destroyed. A summoner has disconnected. You're a you're a degenerate that should be gunned down in the street or something. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, if I said that, I'd be ending up on a Reddit thread tomorrow, dude. A hey, really good job, Florence. Really good job. Well done, bro. At the end of the game, I also sarcastically honored the Sona, who went 0-7-1 and, and was instigating the entire game. And I said, good job, bro, when I honored the Sona, which offers more vindication. I did not know this player's gender. This... The word I typed was not towards this player specifically or any of the sort. And it just it's just a misconstrued, weird narrative that people want to put. And I just want to say, I will completely admit it's my mistake for using this word to mute myself. Um, to clarify, I'm never going to do it again. I don't want it to ever be taken out of context like this ever again. And, you know, just so you know, um, when you do type this word, it doesn't actually go through. No one can see it. It just all that goes through is it says that, like, 
oh, this player has been muted for the rest of the game for inappropriate language. So the people on the other side of that are like, okay, well, I'm not going to flame this guy anymore because there's no point. He can't see it. Um, that's why I like it more than mute all. You know, people can see that you're muted and they won't bother. Um, and then, you know, some people say, why don't you just mute your, why don't you just disable chat altogether? Well, I think that's really stupid. Why should I disable my chat going into a game when no one's being toxic? I, it's not too common that I have these, you know, kind of games where I'm getting flamed by the entire team. But, you know, when it does happen, I just want to mute myself and just focus and they focus. So that's why I don't use those features. I do really like the new league feature, but hopefully they find a way. Maybe it's like a button press that like you mute yourself and everyone on your team can see that. So they they stop typing to you, you know, you know, punching air, typing to a wall. They Because when they're typing, they're playing worse anyway. So this was just a really disingenuous attack from Florence on Twitter. And I'm really disappointed. Um, I'm going to even put some more screenshots of tweets that this person posted after the initial post. Uh, hurling insults at me even outside of the game and from ls i mean at best this is just another twisted malicious narrative that he wants to believe and that he wants to push towards you know the public and honestly that creates irreparable damage because there's gonna be a lot of people who see that tweet who are never going to see this video and are not going to be open-minded to any reason whatsoever so i'm honestly really fucking hurt like it sucks it sucks that i'm trying harder to be better and you still have people like LS spreading malicious misinformation. And I'm going to show you some of his other tweets here and how he's being applauded by thousands of people throwing out derogatory terms himself. It's not only hypocritical, but it's just really sad to see how like negative the league community is. He really has this predisposition of disliking me. And I'm going to show some clips of that as well. And here in this tweet that he wrote afterwards, he says, coincidentally, only one female player in the game and he knows it. I don't know why he's trying so hard to build this malicious narrative. Like he really hates me that much. And it's like, even the person making the tweet, right? Said this is the first game we ever played together. This person's not a streamer, just a solo queue player, just like everyone else. And how am I supposed to know this person's gender and why is everyone why or not everyone why is ls reaching so hard to make it look like i am such a terrible person and i'm just throwing mis misogynistic slurs which is bannable uh towards female players like why would i do that why would i be that stupid it doesn't even make sense but thousands of people are so quick to believe it and thousands of people are so quick to applaud him for for really bad stuff that he's doing like he says i'm mentally ill in this tweet and i tell him hey that's not right and i'm kind of like trying to play it off as cool like oh it's not daishoku you know just came back from tokyo uh and then he says shut the fuck up clown and people are applauding this people are thousands of people are applauding this behavior and liking this behavior and we wonder why the league community is so shit i'm trying my best to be less negative and less toxic and then you have people like ls and other people I'm not going to name, but like uh, they, they're, they're the ones that are doing the very opposite. Yet I'm the one that's being attacked by thousands of people with very mean, hateful, honestly, some of it terrifying tweets and messages. And in regards to LS, I don't know what it is that caused him to have such a strong vendetta against me where he is just so quick to jump the gun and just build a malicious narrative at any time he can. Uh, I just want to say I apologize for whatever I did that upset you this much. I'm sorry. I I'm, I assume it was years ago, and we both grown to be more mature. Uh, I just think it's really sad and disappointing. Like I'm gonna play some clips. Like how much hate this person has for me is not normal. Dude, Night Blue is gonna. I'm gonna. Dude, uh, he, I'm gonna. He's. Oh my God, dude. I'm. I'm on Twitter right now. I'm. So I'm like. Oh my God. Oh my God. What is he saying? <laughs> what is Night Blue saying? He's so fucking. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Oh, what I just don't understand is LS literally two months ago posted a YouTube video about talking about his mental health states. He's taking many breaks for his own mental health. He understands the importance of mental health. And then he goes and calls me mentally ill on Twitter to be applauded and to farm impressions and likes because there's a lot of people that don't like me and I get it. But it's really unempathetic. It's inappropriate. And it's disappointing. It's hypocritical. I don't understand why he goes to such great length 
to build these malicious narratives every time every time he gets a whiff of drama that relates to me he has to just build a narrative and push it as hard as he can like again i'm sorry for whatever that upset you the amount of the amount of times that i i've i've like flamed that he's done because he's flamed people that were like um close to me like he flamed max one time right that was like two years ago the, the twitter thing where i went through the entire game and took screenshots okay. of like everything that was like what two years ago or something something like that and then there was the tyler one drama with the baron that was forever ago man so the, the TLDR is Night Blue called a female streamer in his game uh, a whore, and then he oh. claims that he's not calling her a whore. Um, he says that he just happened to coincidentally use the word whore in league chat to get himself self muted. That, that's what he's claiming that he, he's not referring that to her like as a whore, him. right? So you know what? When when he's in a game with me, he's gonna type the f word, the slur for LGBT people, yeah, but it's not yeah, targeted yeah. at anyone. It's not targeted at anyone. Yeah. I, I almost actually wrote weird. that on Twitter. I was going to ask him to call me an F word. Um, I and I was curious if he would try to punch up instead of just punch down. He's probably like, I don't know. I, I think that I, I think he's like one of the people in the league scene that I absolutely just detest. Um, I actually can't think of anyone else off the top of my head. Sounds like uh, a that isn't like, no, I'm, I'm being serious though. I am sorry. Like, I don't know what else I can do for you. I'm not perfect. I'm still going to make mistakes. And I'm going to, from now on, apologize on, by video for these mistakes. And if you want to have a talk one-on-one -on -one about it, I am always open to conversation. Literally message me anytime. I hope it's a two-way street. You know, I really hope that we can get past this. And I think in regards to the league community, thousands of people applauding him saying I'm mentally ill, um, you know, on a tweet that a lot of people are going to see and it's going to cause irreparable damage to my you know to me and i just hope that we change and if you're a viewer or supporter of mine watching this right now thank you so much for watching this video was mainly made for you guys because i don't that people are going to hate they're going to hate i'm not trying to switch their side i just don't want my viewers to get the wrong opinion of me especially when these malicious characters are coming out left and right dude i'm going to make these videos from now on so i can explain and I hope you guys, you know, stick with me on that. Um, and please, please, please do not disappoint me and do not spread any hateful conduct or any sort of uh, negative message towards these two. I, I'm just hoping they hear the message and that's it. I do not want to spread more negativity. You would, It just makes us look bad. It makes us look like the bully. It makes us look like we are just a conglomerate of people harassing people. It's like we don't want to do that. Okay, that's not what we're about. We're just about having a good time, and I just really want to improve myself. I want to keep doing better, and it really fucking hurts that this happened, but we'll get past this as, you know, as everything else. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.